All right. <laughs> the KCAPE live stream is back, people. It's back. We're here. Welcome, everybody. I hope you are doing well. It is your athletic director, your PE teacher, Coach Chavez. I hope you are doing well. We are here today for Nutritionist Tuesdays, where we create, you know, meals that are nutritionist. Good for you, but still delicious. Remember, the still delicious part is really important. So today, we're going to be making an actual peanut butter smoothie, okay? Peanut butter, sorry, peanut butter banana smoothie, okay? So we got our ingredients over here. We have our Skippy's natural peanut butter. Um, it also has some honey in it, nice and a little sweetness into it. We got our ginger over here, which is super duper important. Gotta have your ginger, and we'll explain the nutritionist facts about that. Spinach, I always like to throw some spinach inside of my actual smoothie because I need, I need my veggies. You gotta have your veggies, no? Okay. We have our bananas, okay? Little bananas in the building, all right? And we also have our almond milk that we use as our base. I only use almond milk. I don't use regular milk, and we'll talk about that too. We have our oatmeal as well that we usually use, okay? To add some heaviness to it, you know, we wanted to fill us up. And we also have our fiber here, okay? Not fiber, our flock seeds, which are good for fiber, okay? All right, so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get started with making our actual smoothie, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to get jams going out. Definitely want the jams. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, all right? So, with our smoothie, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be a smoothie that you're gonna be using before your workout, all right? And I'm gonna explain why before your workout. I'm just gonna fuel you up, you're gonna be super excited, okay? If you're involved in this Nike Run Challenge, this is for you right here. And if you're not involved in the Nike Run Challenge and you work out on a daily basis, or you want to just watch out with your diet, you want to supplement in the meal, this can be for you. All right, let's get it. Okay, so we got our actual cup. We're gonna open that bad baby up. Uh, my cousin has an actual ninja, so I'm gonna be using her ninja today to make my smoothie. I'm very used to actually having like a big cup. I cannot find the top of this actual cup that I'm gonna be using, so I'm just like, man, like I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna be using this mini cup. So let's put this away. Can't find a top for it, I don't know why. All right, boom. So first off, what I usually start off with is my actual base, okay? And for today's base, we're gonna be doing two cups of almond milk. I have my measuring cup right here. If you don't have yours, wing it. I'll say just look at it, just try to figure it out. Um, you know, if, I don't know if, see this doesn't have the ounces on it. Usually these kind of cups have ounces on it, so it tells you, just letting you know, eight ounces equals one cup. So you know. All right, let's get our okay. 16 ounces because that's what the directions were. Let me open up my almond milk. I love almond milk. I can drink almond milk, right? Anybody else like almond milk? Anybody? No? Yes? Okay. I love almond milk. Let's pour it up in there. I'm gonna actually see how eight ounces look first because you see what we got going up here. So I don't wanna overfill. Yeah, we got a lot of ingredients. What you think? What do you think? We'll wait. All right, eight ounces, okay? Starting off, we got our base right here, boom. All right, we're gonna go into throwing that banana up in there, smack that banana up in there. Now, um, fun fact that I definitely did search up and I have my fun fact notebook right here for all y'all who's like, man, Kosi, you know everything. I had to do my research too. All right, fun fact for banana. Great for pre-workout snack, loaded with potassium that aids in maintaining your muscle functions during working out. So for all you folks out there who work out and you're just like, man, I'm getting a little bit fatigued, my muscles feel weak, this banana smoothie will be good for you because bananas help maintain muscle function while you are exercising. That's the potassium that's in the banana that's helping. So if you ever been running, you like, oh, my leg, they hurt so much. That's lactic acid building up in your muscles. Okay, lactic acid, when that builds up in your muscles, it makes your muscles feel really heavy and you want to stop. The banana stops that. So smack it. And up in that drink, you know, we're going to put two of them in there. Playing, huh? We're going to put two bananas. Also, fun fact for bananas, you can actually use the skin um, of the banana. So this right here, 
If you have like a mosquito bite, if you have inflammation on the skin, and this definitely will help soothe it, okay? So if you ever have any inflammation on your skin, mosquito bite, whatever it may be, you can just peel this banana and smack that skin of that banana right on there. So fun fact, I searched up, I was like, oh my. Oh, another fun fact, bananas are actually berries. All right, next, we're gonna probably go into, let's grab our spinach, get that spinach up in there. We probably gonna just do like a cup of it. You know what I'm saying? We don't wanna do too much spinach. We don't want our smoothie to be too green now. We, we know we want our, not even a cup, we're gonna do half of a cup of spinach, okay? Half of a cup, thank y'all for streaming. You know, appreciate y'all, okay. So far, we put in our almond milk and we put in our bananas. Two bananas, one cup of almond milk, we're going to do probably, yep, half a cup of spinach. So let's throw our spinach up in there. We need our veggies, okay? And I got the fun fact for the spinach, too. Don't play with me now. I got the fun fact. Fun fact for spinach. Spinach carries a lot of vitamin A. Vitamin A helps with the moderation of the production of oil on your face and hair. So you know how sometimes people be like, man, your face, you be like, oh my gosh, my face is so oily right now, right? Spinach helps moderate that because when you have too much oil on your face, what do you think happens to your skin? You get what? Can somebody answer that? Too much oil on your face creates what? Nobody? Somebody? Anybody? Okay, it's, it's all good, it's fine. It creates acne. Okay, acne is when you have a bunch of bumps on your face. So spinach helps produce, helps give you vitamin A which helps my, yes, pimples, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, very good job. So, when you consume spinach, it gives you vitamin A, which helps moderate the oil on your face and skin. Fun fact for you right here, okay? Next time you think about eating some spinach, you're like, man, if I wanna not have pimples and acne, I'm gonna eat some of this spinach. Okay, cool. Spinach is out of the way. Bananas are done, we can move those. Acne, there we go, and spinach. In Espanol. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, next we're gonna go into our actual peanut butter. Okay, I decided to use Skip's peanut butter with honey. Um, I usually don't like using honey because it harms the bees, so yeah. Ms. Davalos will be very disappointed. Sorry, I gotta get a spoon. Just get in a spoon. Okay, so for this here with the peanut butter, we're gonna take two spoonfuls like that and just dump that right up in there. Yep, because it's a peanut butter and banana smoothie. So dump two spoonfuls of that peanut butter. Come on now. Get up in there. No, go in there. All right, there we go. One more, last one. Come on. All right there. Nice, okay. We got our peanut butter. We have our almond milk. We have our bananas. And we have our spinach. Fun fact for peanut butter. Peanut butter. 35% of peanut butter total weight is made up of protein, okay? Protein, right? If you are, if you do not consume any meat, peanut butter is a very good source for you to consume for protein. Protein helps out with muscle recovery, right? Because when you are working your muscles, your muscles are tearing, okay? And in order for your muscles to grow back, which they are gonna do, they use protein. Okay, peanut butter is made up of 35% of protein. All right, so you know what I'm saying? You just do your workout, how do you a peanut butter sandwich? I don't like peanut butter jelly. Just letting y'all know, FYI, I like peanut butter peanut butter or jelly jelly. I don't do peanut butter jelly. I don't know why, I don't know why. Okay, um, I'm gonna put this in the sink because I don't wanna put on the All right, next we have our oats. I like to put oats inside of my, in my smoothie because it, it just brings more heaviness to it, right? I don't want to eat a smoothie with just like peanut butter, just this. I want it to be more heavy. So this is kind of like my carbs right here. Um, like oatmeal, these are oats as well. So I'm going to use these actually in my um, smoothie as well. And they're whole grain too. Um, we're going to go for, let's go for half a cup. Just half a cup. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't think my measurements might be wrong. Let's see. I think that might be good. It's a lot. It's a lot more than I said, but it's okay. The measurements is not perfect, people. They, they never perfect, but it's okay. All right. Just pour it up in there. 
All right, just trying to see if we can mix it around a little bit. All right, so far we got almost, we're almost finished with our smoothie. We are almost done. Thank y'all for staying live. Thank you all for streaming as well too. All right, we got our ginger. Fun fact for ginger. Ginger actually comes from Southeast Asia. Yes, that is where it originates from, okay? It helps reduce stomach ache, nausea, and helps speed up digestion. So anytime you have a stomach ache, right? You're like, mom, dad, auntie, uncle, oh my God, it hurts so bad. In my family, in my culture, what we used to do anytime you felt sick, go get some ginger ale. I'm like, but mom, but go get some ginger ale now. I'm, okay, you get the ginger ale and you, your stomach starts to feel better because of the ginger in it. Okay, ginger helps with the digestion and the stomach ache. So next time your stomach's hurting and you're just like, I don't know what to do, ginger. All right, I am going to cut only a piece. I usually have ginger every day um, with my smoothie. I don't want to put too much in here. Ginger. Ginger is strong, okay? Hello, ginger is super strong. So like, listen, I know y'all watching me on this live stream. Do not put a whole bunch of ginger inside of this smoothie because your, your smoothie is not gonna be a, uh, it's not gonna be no peanut butter and uh, banana no more. It's gonna be that peanut butter ginger smoothie, okay? I'm late, what are we doing? Okay, cool, do not worry about being late. We are making a peanut butter banana smoothie. So far, I put almond milk, spinach, Sorry, one cup of almond milk, two bananas, half a cup of spinach, two spoonfuls of peanut butter, and half a cup of oats, okay? That's where we at right now. Just give me a little update, okay? If you just joined it, don't even worry about it. We good, we good. All right, I'm just cutting up my ginger. Okay, I really don't even, listen, listen. Ginger is so strong, I might, sounds good. Yeah, I can't wait to try it, seriously. Listen, ginger is strong, y'all. Y'all can't put, I'm putting just this. That, this other piece will go in my smoothie tomorrow. Just, I want this smoothie to be good, so. Like, I gotta put my other healthy factors into it. Didn't you put two? I did not put two cups of almond milk yet because I wanted to see how much it will fill up. If we need more milk, I definitely will. So I only put one cup of almond milk so far. Yeah, be careful on the ginger. Puts the whole thing. No, do not put the whole thing in ginger. If you do, it's going to taste like ginger. All right, I'm going to put some flat seeds inside of here. Uh, flat seeds help with uh, maintaining blood sugars and cholesterol and also help support with weight management. Um, last time I checked, flat seeds does have a good, um, good, decent size of protein as well, which is good for you because you definitely want to get your protein in it. Um, so that's really good. All right, so let's put my flat seeds in it. Not too much. I, I usually just put like a spoonful of the milk, get another spoon. So I can't use the one with the peanut butter on it. All right. All right. All right. And we back. Okay. So I'm just going to do a spoon of flux seeds. Not too much. Just a spoon. All right. Just a spoon. Okay. I think that's a wrap. I think we good. Um, I think we are good. We put spinach. Let me run it back. We put one cup of almond milk, half a cup of spinach, two bananas, two spoonfuls of peanut butter, a piece of ginger, almond milk, oatmeal, and we put our flock seeds in it. Nothing else. Is there anything else you think we should add, you want to add, go right ahead, do it to your smoothie, no problem at all. Um, I think I'm going I'm to I'm just tighten this up and get this blending going. Uh -huh. Should I start it? Yes, no, maybe so. Y'all ready? Somebody tell me they ready. Somebody tell me that they ready. Uh, ice. I, I don't put ice in mine, but you can. I don't really use ice like that. You want me to try ice? I, I'll do ice. I usually don't do ice, but I, if the people said ice. Okay, I'm going to put ice. I'm putting ice. All right, where is... All right, so I went. I got some ice. Ready? Yes, ready to go. Ready, ready. Okay, I'm going to put just two. I don't really do a lot of ice. I... All right, just, I'll put three for you. I'll put three. Three, three, okay. All right, we're ready to go. Let's try it out. Oh, my All right, let's do this. Boom, okay. Blender, check. I feel like, can I put some more almond milk in it, please? 
Is that cool with y'all? I'll put a little bit more almond milk, just a little bit. Somebody let me know. Yes, no, maybe so. Just a little bit more, just a little tiny bit more. Okay? Okay. Somebody say yeah. All right, yes, thumbs up. Yes, I got a thumbs up. Thank you. I'm gonna put that much in there. That is about almost a cup, little under. Just to get it blended. Yep, there we go. All righty there. All right. Okay. Let the let the blender begin. Let's do this. Let's do this now. Oh man. And I gotta go work out after this because I gotta go put these miles in for that Nike run challenge. I gotta get a hundred miles. Okay, let's do it. All right. Lock it. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right, let's do this. Uh frozen drink smoothies blend which Wait, hold on. Okay. It's blended. It's blended. Sorry, it's blended. It's blended. Blending. I'm letting y'all know. You can tell, huh? It's not done. I need it to blend a little more. How do I just blend it? This, this is not my blender, y'all. So I, I know I'm looking a little crazy right now. Let's just get a ultra blend. There we go. Why y'all keep stopping? Just give me a second. It's blending some more. I gotta get it blended. Make sure it's really blended. Make sure it's really blended. blended. You don't want to taste the pieces of the, the veggie. Of the veg, you don't want to taste that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I was talking about my. Oh, cool. It's okay. I, I'm not the best at blending either, so we, we working together. Has never used a blender before. I love y'all talking on here, man. I'm, I'm getting better at it now. I like the regular blenders where you just press one button. And it this one, look at this blender. Look at like eight buttons on here. It's like eight buttons on this blender. Like, I'm just like, which one do you press? Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. What we've been waiting for. Uh-huh. Ooh-wee! Tell me y'all ready. Tell me y'all ready. Uh -oh. So, I'm gonna be honest. Your smoothie, probably, if you just did the regular, um, the moment of truth. This is, in fact, the moment of truth. And I'm gonna be honest about if it's good or not, okay? Um, if you just did peanut, peanut butter and banana and, like, the almond milk and ice, it, it won't look like this. Your smoothie will look more brown. But since I threw in like spinach, spinach really turns, spinach is a dark green vegetable, so it really turns the color of any smoothie it's in. That's why I should've used less. <sighs> y'all ready? Can I say y'all ready again? Y'all ready? Thumbs up, ready? Okay, okay, all right, all right, okay. Yeah, let's see. Yo, I'm not playing. This is mad good. I'm, I'm, I'm being so serious right now. I'm being so serious right now. This is good. If it was nasty, I would have made a cringy face. This is good though. Mmm. The texture is like a milkshake, and I'm, a, and I think it comes from, um, the peanut butter being in it. But this is fire. Yes. Mmm. I'm actually really proud of myself. Like, this is made a really, it's like a really good smoothie, though. Like, you know how sometimes you think you was gonna, like, do something on the live stream, like, man, I, you, you're hoping it's good, and it's like you're praying, and you know everybody's watching you? Bro, I'm so tempted to try it. Try it! For real, just, I'm serious. Like, this is really good. I'm gonna drink this, probably wait, like, 15 minutes, and go do my workout. How much flaxseed did you put in? I just put in a little small, 
like this a little small spoon yes it does like a milkshake yeah i think that comes from the peanut butter substance in it like how peanut butter is it made it more milkshakey 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 that's not really a word this is how much flax seeds i put in though this is fun yeah this is fire little spoony little spoony yeah <laughs> mm. how much oats um half a cup yeah so this is my cup here i stopped it at about half a pint here sorry i'm so close yeah half a pint will you put the recipe on google classroom tomorrow that way i can try i'll think about it i'm just kidding i'll put the recipe i'm going to post the recipe everywhere i'm actually going to record myself doing this so I can upload it on YouTube so we have it as a link so students can access this not only on Instagram but YouTube too. Mm. Yeah, this is good. This is this is good. Yo. Mm. Okay. Well, anybody have any more questions? Any more concerns? Anybody's like, yo. Anything else? Man, one thing, thank y'all for joining me. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Like, it means a lot. A lot of people ask questions as well. Um, the live stream is gonna actually happen every two weeks now. Okay, since I'm doing like since I'm doing like the YouTube live, I'm gonna have the KCAP live stream happen every two weeks, so you look more forward to it, right? And gives us more time to plan, have special guests, everybody is able to get ingredients as well, too. YouTube live was today. Yes, YouTube live is uh, YouTube live is every day actually. Um, it's every day for our class, but definitely going to have the KCAP live stream every two weeks. Um, tomorrow we have our challenge day. Okay, so we're gonna have a very fun challenge going on with maybe a special guest as a student. So I'm I'm super excited about that. So please 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 stay tuned. Um, the live stream will stay at four p.m. because it's after school is over. Um, I don't want to have it during the school because that puts a lot of pressure on not only myself, but like parents and other people who are trying to view it. And I want it to be able to be open to everybody else. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Stay tuned for our monthly challenges. We're finishing up our Nike run challenge right now. Um, there's so many people that's logging in miles. It's not even funny. Yes. Challenge day is tomorrow. Challenge day is tomorrow. We're also going to be doing a, uh, Weekly TikTok challenges. No, sorry, not weekly. Every two week weekly TikTok challenges. Every two weeks, Coach Chavez. Not weekly. Sorry, every two weeks. So the week where we don't have the KCAP live stream, we'll have a TikTok challenge going on, and then you'll be able to submit your videos for that too. Okay. Um, I know I'm drawing you with a lot of information. Thank you for staying staying tuned. I'll keep posting. Um, whatever you know. So I hope you all make your smoothies. Just do this for me. If you make your smoothie at home, please take a picture of it. Send it to the um, IG. What's the TikTok? You'll find out what the TikTok challenge is next week. I'll release it next week. TikTok challenge does not happen the week of the live stream. It happens the week we don't have the live stream, okay? So I will definitely let you all know. It's going to be a cool one. Exercising. Got to be dancing involved. Or it can be just dancing because that is a form of exercising. All right. That being said, let's end it. You already know how we do. And cut. <laughs> Bye, y'all.